Or'd you forgot? You slaying away in? No recording right now. Recording hours are over. Come again. That guy's taught me about a place for opposing him. I love just, honestly, as soon as I woke up today, I just, I really felt just like just doing nothing today. Like my animalistic instincts, like that's really all I've been able to do today. Just, just eat, 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 eat and just rest. And that's where the piece is at right now. I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't need to force myself to do any other thing. Go to Packers Beach with, with Ema and all them. I had major baller plans today. Friends and such, workouts and such, but I'm not, I'm feeling good where I am right now with, with what I already have, so that's good. Praise the Lord. You're urban airing a little bit? Yeah, let's get it. With the fam learning and growing today, you know what I'm saying, yo, and it's our old dog Jasper here at Pecker's Beach and such. As you get it, ye hey, Jasper, it's Chloe. No, it's not. Knock off Jasper. Let me guess. Let me guess. It's so ready. The Missouri life. This is where you gotta be meditating, you gotta be praying for days like a monk. Just passing the time, because when you're passing the time, uh, that's how you, you get happy. You don't want time to go by slow. Hi, life, yo. I don't know what the heck's going on here, but just putting my foot on the slime of the rocks here, it feels pretty lit.com, you know what I mean? Yeah, year. Kai, yik and Kai, yay and over there and also a and and Jerry's just over there. Yay, yay. Holy shat. Rodeo is gone. Mom is stressing the frickadaka shukaduka out. So I was walking rodeo and such at that lake. It was nice and blissful and serene. And I got a little angry, kind of strangled her for a little bit. She kept not healing. And this guy said that it was a felony to do that. And he was like, have compassion. He was like, would you do that to yourself? Made me cry. That's it's how I treat myself. So let's go. Learning about patience and stuff. Just learning, growing in life. So the glory of God. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. You get floating kayak to uh, James River yeah, until, until the Turners. You could like float James River and such kayak. Let's go! We are on Country Road D, Turners N O M O. Let's go. Several tracks that go into the woods. Let's go. And then I saw some in that woods. Caution, caution. Woo! I survived, man. It's crazy. I'm in the car and I'm going to work. Woo! God's good. Just had a little bit of binge food, prepared some jello for later, and so this whole revelation right now, I'm just preparing for later. So much things are common sense in my life, but not common practice, and I literally don't do common practice. I'm like the complete opposite. Had some little binge food, I think I might have said that already, but not a lot. I'm stoked about, satisfied with that. Hopefully that'll happen every single time I eat. It doesn't take over my life. I'm going to work now. I'm going to just keep making moves in the sphere of Christ. Urban air again, and the day has just started. I think this is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy over here that I know from Springfield. Yo, uh, you do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Yes, I do, brother. I knew that, man. I love the How hat, by the way. The you. hat's awesome. Yes, sir. Thank I met you, you at, at Doling one time. Yeah, I remember that. Genesis, I yeah. see you all over the place, That's man. Right, right over there. <laughs> yeah. It's cool to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, man. But I gotta get on yeah. shift, but. Make that money, brother. I know yeah. that's how we do it, though. You, somebody's gotta make the money. It might as well be us. Yeah, I guess so. I'm Tony Fuel, man. It was the guy I met him at Doling Fitness Center at Genesis Fitness Center around Springfield. Now here, his name is Tony Fuel. He said somebody's got to make the money. He might as well be the guy, and that's him. Motivator, man. Holy crap. God's good. Wow. Personal tennis with his kids over in that business over there. But I'm go I went ham, man, four hour shift. I haven't been sick like all day. I ate too much and crap. Like I'm dying, depressed, suicidal, all that stuff. You know, the good thing is, though, I feel a little bit better, though, after working that shift. And making a little bit of money is better than nothing. So, better than something, you know. I'm hateful for what I have, but thankful doesn't make a lot of sense. But praise the Lord, though. There's potential for greatness, you know what I'm saying? And I envy people here. I, en I hate my own life because everyone here, they're like, they're like, there's people that did like six hours or more. I only did four hours a day, but people that did like six hours here and way more and either other jobs early in the day before they even came here. And they're like, oh yeah, today was a quick day. Or, oh yeah, that shift was nothing. Oh, that was easy, easy. Like that, this. 
it goes by so quick, but for me, it's just arduous, painstaking, slow today. It's ridiculous. Been slow as frack, man. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. I think there's been one person that has said that this job is hard or that's really slow, but for me, it's just painful. It's living in general today has been painful. Mm. I mean, can you quit life? Is that a thing? Because that's what I want to do, because life is just boring to me. And just, I don't mean boring, it's just painful and just, well, probably one of the hardest things I've ever had in my life today, just kind of been sick all day. Not been able to really enjoy things. Okie dokie, so today, binge morning was nice, um, family fun, shiz, did tons of that shiz, went to the lake and all that. And when I came back, I'm um, binge, depressed again, that urban air, depressed, a really co cool Kyle guy. His name was Jodeci, and man, he, he was a pretty busting guy. He's into manga. Hopefully, he'll pursue his dream job to the fullest, man. Walk to his potential to the fullest. Lots of other lads at Urban Air talking with peeps and such. Now, showered, you know, I'm thinking of things that suck in life, of things that I need to do. This is a fiber package and a license plate thing, and brings me a zero excitement. It's hurting me, just me being physically sick, um, suicidal. I told my mom, family about my condition right now, and being productive as productive as can be. Still alive, because this world is terrible. Make the most of it. I'm suicidal, hopefully I'm still here by the time you're watching this. Peace out. Haha, <laughs> 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 tomorrow could be day nine. Say so fucking sucked. Holy crap, do I feel like a million dollars right now. It's, and I also take a sh I took a shower. Um, I'm way thicker in my clothes right now because I'm getting obese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeet. Actually, a lot. I'm actually pretty dang fit. Not gonna lie. For once in my life, have I ever even been overweight or obese? You know, I took 5-HTTP, ashwagandha, some MCT. <laughs> I don't feel good right now. My price cutter. I ate all my binge food tonight already. Get in on, on it. Uh, I hope they're open. Gotta kinda take a pee. Park lot's empty. Oh man, did I flourish today? Holy shoot, I gotta stop at a gas station or somewhere or pee. Gosh, I gotta go so bad. <laughs> so much liquid, so much pudding, so much jello. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I can't even talk. Oh my gosh. Took a nice little pee over here. Moon is a bustin', is a poppin'. This Hivey parking lot was just such a tremendous experience. Me and Aura and my brother-in-law Thomas, the prayer and God's presence and revelation. But oh my gosh, my spirit powerful. The Spirit is willing, but the flesh is so dang arguably weak. How much is my spirit willing right now? My spirit's macho man right now. Or I had a dream. It's too fat, demonical, depressing me. I was downtown, came out of an alleyway, all bloody. Basically, what happened was Aura went over to these people, put them in their place. In Jesus' name, the authority, the power worked, made them not come any closer. I mean, you got, you got no ground on me. Spiritually powerful, yo. Pink lady hair, though. <laughs> but yeah, but so let's get back to it, yo. Uh, so they are put in their place, binded. I ran, or I saw me running to mom afterwards. I looked like to, to the left, and then yeah, I like ran to mom. But that speaks volumes just for what's been going on in my life. It's like a spiritual thing. Might not make sense to you, but man, I've been getting oppressed when it comes to food and, and stuff, and these two fat demonic forces. Like, they're gone now, so I'm free, and I can, um, I'll maximize my potential in Christ Jesus. From glory to glory right now. Seriously. Very, very high calling in my life. That's why the enemy is attacking me so hard. But no more. In Christ galore. Choose to praise the King of Kings, the Lord of the Lord. <laughs> Just gotta talk with my mom about the glory, about the victories in Christ that's been over my life and family's life. And saying you got nothing on me. <laughs> Glory to Jesus Christ. She was like, you, you breaking through thresholds. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From on high, I got that joy in the Lord. And in my strength, I'm gonna shout hallelujah and give him the praise. A fly. Like an angel, just like two wings, white wings, but it's, it's beautiful. going ah yeah right into what god's been showing gonna be writing a an an i survived book 21 days of pain but my spirit becoming macho 
My flesh is weak, but my spirit's become a macho. I've been able to see so much. People just so content in that peace. It's some people that live on this planet. It's like, it really, it excites me. I'm not even envious anymore towards people that have it better. I'm excited. I just met up with Michael. I'd say being a true leader and somebody that you count on, somebody that's always there, that's literally gonna hold you and drag you to where you want to be. If you want something bad, you just get it. And I've gotten many great things in life. I'm ready to see Jesus Christ. I want to leave, like leave the planet, which I'm already seated in high places with Christ Jesus, but leave. And it's a great glory, this assignment that we have down on here right now, on this planet. I want to leave. We have big in store for me, but God has just something I'm picking in store for you. It's literally 3.20 a.m. not sleeping. God's good, though. Hallelujah, that get to learn. Hallelujah, that get to grow. Hallelujah, that get to flow. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Booyah, boom, shakalaka.